Am I gonna need to do this sitting down? That'll probably be most effective. <laughs> I am from Laurenburg, North Carolina. Same town, my entire life, small town. Middle of nowhere, there's about 16,000 people, so it's not like tiny. There's one high school in the whole county, so we all go to the same high school, so that, that, that kind of small town. It's the typical, everybody knows about your business sometimes before you know about your business. I have always been a rule follower and have always had this really guilty conscience. My sister and I are very different. Closer now, but when we were younger, totally opposite. Christmas Eve, and I'm eight, she's four, and I'm freaking out because I think that there's no way Santa is coming. He just can't come because I've been such a terrible child. And my mom is trying to calm me down. I'm like, no, mom, I haven't, I've been so bad. Sister hasn't said a word. Finally, when my mom is out of the room, what I hear from the bottom bunk from the four-year-old who is notorious for misbehaving. Guetta, Guetta, I was bad last year, Guetta, and I still got presents. Next morning, Christmas, we wake up, have a ridiculous amount of presents, and my sister nudges me, says, see Guetta, I told you. She was right, and my mom still won't admit that she's not Santa. So that's me and my sister. I am the best locker room dancer on the volleyball team, no doubt. When the songs come on and we have to, you know, bust a move, everyone just knows. Greta's coming, you better watch out because the moves are coming with her. When I first started dancing, like the first time I broke out of my shell my freshman year, everybody was just super surprised. Had no idea what was coming. So ever since then, I've been known as the dancer on the volleyball team. Savannah Angel's also a good dancer. She'd get really mad if she saw this and I said she wasn't also a good dancer. You gotta start small, like, oh, yeah, I'm just hanging out. Nothing really exciting's gonna happen. Yeah, normal day. And then you... Snap yo fingers, because it's spelled yo, Y-O. So I'm a walk-on on the volleyball team. My senior year, Coach Oliver came and watched me played, and he was encouraging me, told me lots of good things, and that he saw a lot of potential, and that if I wanted to be on the team, that I had a spot. He told me, and I really appreciate this, like did not think it was harsh at all, just know that if you come here, you may not step on the floor the entire four years you're here. And it wasn't mean, it wasn't him saying I wasn't a good volleyball player, it was just him saying, this is what to expect. I don't want you to have any false expectations about what's coming for volleyball. I came in knowing I was gonna get nothing. So that makes any playing time that I've gotten, anything that I've been able to do in volleyball a lot more precious for me because it made me work really hard. But I think what I love most about volleyball is it gives me an opportunity to compete, but I get to compete alongside girls that are my family. I've been fortunate to find that here and absolutely love all the girls on the team.